There are different types of pipes that can bring drinking water into your home. And we're going to take a look at what some of those pipes are and the different characteristics of each because we need your help as a customer to identify what type of pipe material is in your home. So the common types of pipe we have would be a lead pipe. Not very common today, but this was used back um, in the prior to the 1970s. We have galvanized pipe, copper pipe, and PVC plastic pipe. So let's talk about some of the characteristics of each so that you can identify what type of pipe material you have. So first of all, we have the lead pipe here. And one of the, the visual characteristics of it is that it may be curved. Lead was a softer pipe material so that it could bend around fixtures or through, um, around a wall in, um, in a house. It also often had this bulbous part here that would wrap around um, where a fitting was connected to it. The other common characteristics with lead is that it was a softer material. So if you take a key or a coin and you scratch it, you can actually scratch the pipe material and you can feel that this is soft. And when you scratch it, you're gonna see something shiny where your scratch was. Another characteristic of lead is that if you get a household magnet, the magnet will not stick to the piece of pipe. This piece of lead is connected to a galvanized pipe. And we'll talk more about galvanized in a minute, but I wanna show you the difference. The magnet does not stick to the lead, but the magnet does stick to the piece of galvanized pipe. Here we have the galvanized pipe, and the galvanized can be more of kind of a rusty color, or it can be the shiny silver, or it could even be a black color piece of pipe. And one visual cue with the galvanized pipe is that the ends are threaded. You can't thread a lead pipe, but you may see threading, so this pipe can connect to another piece of pipe. You may also notice that it has the rusty red color, and it's kind of flaking off a little bit where that iron has, um, has formed on the outside of the pipe. If you take a piece of magnet, as we just demonstrated there, the magnet definitely will stick to a piece of galvanized pipe. If you take your key and scratch it, you can get a little bit of a shiny color when you scratch it, particularly if you're scratching on a black piece of galvanized iron, or if you're scratching on one of these, you scratch off some of that iron or tuberculosis as we call it, you may get some of the, the shiny material underneath. Galvanized was a very common type of pipe material and is still used today. Copper pipe has the copper color that we see in pennies. If it's exposed to the air, you may get some of the green color on it. Copper pipe is never threaded, like galvanized. Um, it doesn't have those threads. If you take a magnet, it doesn't stick to it. And if you scrape it, you get the shiny color underneath, like you would see in a penny. And finally, we have PVC pipe, which is plastic, and it may even have written on that piece of pipe PVC. Of course, if you take a magnet, it's not gonna stick to this piece of plastic, and if you take your key or your coin, you're not gonna be able to scratch it. So these are our different types of pipe material. Um, take a visual look at them, and also do the magnet and the key test to scratch it, and let us know what type of pipe material you have. <music>